During an uncertain economy, a federal grant will help several communities in north central Montana plan for a more secure future. The news station's Kay Rossi looks into the possible uses for this Department of Housing and Urban Development grant. Jobs, housing, education, they're issues that continue to surface in an unpredictable economy. Congratulations, everyone. But thanks to a $1.5 million grant from the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development, those issues can finally be addressed in north central Montana. We want to help communities set the table so that they can get back on track with the economy. Out of hundreds of applications from across the country, only a handful have been awarded regional planning grants this year. One of the things that really stood out was a commitment to partnership. Cascade, Teton, Shoto, and Toole counties will all benefit from the three-year grant, as well as three Indian reservations, educational institutions, and other communities. We were able to start building those relationships for our partnerships. And we're going to use those strengths to move forward, to move forward as fast as we can. Three years is not a very long time. The goal behind the money is to create a plan for economic development that connects good jobs with housing, quality education, and transportation. Our number one concern, uh, housing. Already, leaders on the Rocky Boys Indian Reservation are seeing ways the economic plan will help correct issues in their own area. Anything is welcome as long as it brings jobs. You know, and, it, uh, and the environmental issues are all met. MSU Northern is also looking forward to the infrastructure the plan creates as the school is working to develop the area's energy industry by producing alternative fuel options. The next step will be to start a dialogue to start identifying some of the needs and goals of each community in an effort to make a plan to move forward. In Box Elder, Kay Rossi for Montana's news station. Congress has voted not to fund another round of sustainable community grants next year. So Potisha says it's possible this year's recipients will be the last to benefit from the program. As we saw in that story, wind will be the weather story throughout our week. Fred.